What's going on, everybody? I think it's time yet again to start up another one of these casual conversations about the game because, well, I really enjoy starting them, and it seems like many of you enjoy joining the conversation as well. As a matter of fact, even Kabam is going to join today's conversation about relics. You see, after I made the last video kind of detailing the best addition to MCOC also kind of having a little bit of a side effect of being the worst in some ways as well, which was Battlegrounds. Uh, Kabam Crashed had some comments in the next live stream. You see, you might recognize Crashed from the official MCOC live streams, and this is someone who's usually delivering some of the biggest update information to us, um, like details about Necropolis or the Deathless Champion system or reward updates, these types of, uh, of system and gameplay updates that, you know, it's actually going to have a huge impact for every single player. Uh, I'm not saying it's more important than hearing about, like, you know, some of the new characters coming to the game or the lore or anything like that. But me personally, this is the stuff that I care about the absolute most, at least. So after, uh, you know, kind of uh, after making this video, again, Crashed decided to join the next live stream. And he wasn't on call. He was just in the chat, um, just kind of, uh, you know, Again, just a casual conversation, right? But answering some questions that people had. And Relics came up. Because you see, Relics, we haven't really heard much about Relics since August of 2023. And to understand why, we kind of need to go back a little bit to how Relics were added to the game in the first place. Y you see, of course, they didn't always exist. And even before they were added, we got to play with the Striker mechanic in early 2022 it was january 2022 that was the first side quest i believe where we all got a colossus striker uh to play with it could be uh, any class type of champion i think as well i don't know it, it was a long time ago but i believe that was the first time we got to to use the striker mechanic you could see the striker gauge here it actually filled up with this bar automatically and then uh when it was full we got to we got to throw out colossus and you can see the UI, it's a little bit off here as they were kind of testing different positions, getting player feedback about, you know, um, is this an interesting feature? Uh, how powerful is it? And all that, figuring out the balance of it, right? Cut to later that year in September of 2022, and we get this huge announcement detailing uh, how seven star champions are going to look, the ascension system that we have today, and relics and we were given quite a bit of info it was a bit overwhelming at the time uh did my best to uh you know break it break it down in uh in this kind of first look video and um well you could see that in game um not a whole lot has changed since that announcement in september of 2022 this is my venom relic in game this is the venom relic on display uh in that video a few things have changed. Um, it used to cost units to unbind the relic and attach the relic to a different champion. But outside of that, not much has really changed. Um, they're called battle cast relics. They were called that at the time as well. And we were explained that, uh, you know, battle cast relics. Again, you can see that name uh, where it says Venom battle cast up there. Uh, we were told that battle cast just means that there's a striker attached to the relic. And, you know, at the time, I was kind of thinking like, okay, so what does Kabam have planned? Does that mean that there's going to be different types of relics as well? Right now, you could only, you know, use relics on uh, champs that you're actually fighting with. Your defenders, they could still have a relic on them, but it, it has no impact. So I was thinking like, okay, if they sort of trade away the striker mechanic, because who the heck wants to fight defenders that have uh, the capability of throwing out a relic? No one, at least I don't. Um, maybe maybe there'd be some other trade-off like just for defenders where um, there'd be some other powerful passive effect. I, I, I don't know. To this day, we still have nothing like that, but um, who knows? Uh, I feel like the sky's the limit with these things and uh, we've only seen just, you know, just barely a little bit of what uh, they can do. So... The striker is definitely the strongest part about relics, but it's not the only part. Uh, each relic also has an ability slot right here where you can choose one of two abilities. 
And this is a six star, by the way. Uh, it, it varies based on star level, but um, you got one of these two abilities and you can freely change them whenever you want. Just like how you can now freely unbind and rebind it to another champion anytime you want. Um, sometimes there's a bonus to these effects or um, actually, where does it say? I think, does it not say in this relic? Some some of the relics, they, they have bonuses depending on who... Uh, is attached. So I think Gambit has one. Yeah, you can see uh, it says Rogue. Um, so like an extra bonus just for Rogue. And that's because, of course, Gambit and Rogue, they have uh, a little bit of a connection in the comics. Um, but in addition to being able to choose an ability, you get to choose two out of the three attributes. Again, on a, on a six-star relic, that is. Um, who knows if, you know, going back to that initial announcement, if those two... Uh, slots in the bottom left corner that have the dashes through them. Who knows if that'll be a thing once we get to, you know, like seven star relics or something. But uh, as it stands today, this is what we know about relics. Um, leveling them up is very similar to how uh, we level up champions. Um, it feels like that was totally intentional, of course, uh, to have, elite, have it at least be a little bit familiar to players where instead of using ISO to level up those different ability slots, uh, you use embers, so iso and embers, kind of the same thing. And then instead of catalysts, we use alloys. Um, so that's how you, you know, level up the champs. It was introduced, uh, you know, meant to be sort of the reward for for battlegrounds, the largest part of the rewards, at least, which is still kind of true. You know, you can still kind of uh, get the relic stuff from the battleground store. Um, and I believe some of the relics that the rewards might be attached to the rank rewards. I'm not sure how they look today, honestly. Uh, but because the relic production has slowed down so much, uh, to the point where Kabam hasn't released a new relic in a year now, um, you know, much of the battleground store has been taken up by other things as well. So looking at this announcement, the last official announcement from Kabam about relics, it says, hey, adjustment to relics release cadence. Hello, summoners. We are taking a break. Oh, by the way, one last thing before I forget. Uh, like I was saying that this was uh, September of, of uh, you know, 2022, November, I believe. That's the first time we actually got to open relics and use them in game. Okay, anyway, with that in mind, back to the announcement here. Uh, we're taking a break from the established release cadence for relics. Uh, after the addition of the most recent trio in July, because it seemed like they were trying to keep a three to a month kind of cadence, uh, we we're taking a step back to reassess how relics affect the in-game experience and set new goals for the feature. We like the opportunity space they introduced by customizing your champions and adding an additional layer of depth to the combat experience. We are aware of the feelings some summoners have towards relics. And the reason they said this is because relics when they were first announced, ooh, a lot of people didn't really care about relics. They didn't want to see relics added to the game. Uh, myself, I was like, I like them, but are they really going to be everywhere? Like, if it was just in Battlegrounds, that'd be cool, but I didn't want to see it everywhere. But hey, since then, things have changed. It's kind of hard to play the game without relics. It feels like much of the community... Uh, you know, really took to relics. It, it just was a bit of a warm-up period where uh, lots of people, yeah, they they really do like the idea of relics. The only thing that I that I would say I do hear from players sometimes is that the relics, you know, getting getting them from rewards sometimes aren't as exciting as you know opening up the crystals themselves. But uh, and also it being kind of difficult to understand how much power is being added from the relics. Uh, that's kind of the you know, loosely what I what I hear. But anyway, going back to the official announcement, again, this is August of last year, so about a year ago now. It says, We are aware of the feelings some summoners have towards relics. We have been closely monitoring community conversations on the forums, YouTube, social media, within our content creator program, in-game surveys, and a variety of other community spaces. We want to take this time to address the feedback we have received. To be clear, relics aren't going anywhere. Your existing relics aren't changing today, nor is the content where relics can be used. Simply, you won't see any new relics being released for a while as we're figuring out how we want to move relics forward. 
Expect more news in the coming months. Well, again, the coming months, it's, it's, I mean, hey, technically, technically 11 months, it, that's still, that's still months, right? Uh, it could be 20 months, that's, that's still months. Um, and yeah, I, I believe the only thing that has changed since this announcement, I believe they opened relics up to different areas. I don't, I don't really participate in the Alliance activity, so I can't actually remember if you could use relics in AQ uh, or Alliance War. I, I, I'm not entirely sure. You guys will have to let me know. But I believe they were added to those modes. I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, so what's up with relics then? Uh, this was really like the last official statement. Well, I've got a bit of an update for you. Um, but before I go to it, I, I want to say that this wasn't very clear at all. I mean, it was clear, but it also just kind of left us in the dark of like, ah, man, so is Kabam... I mean, Kabam's saying relics aren't going anywhere, so we're still going to be able to use them and all that, right? But Kabam also used the word today when talking about relics not changing. So does that mean after they, you know, uh, assess all the feedback, they, they go through the surveys that they put out and, and kind of reevaluate relics uh, all together, does that mean eventually relics will change? I, I don't know, man. I mean, we are seeing a bit more balancing going on as time goes on in this game so that could possibly be a thing uh it it's also just you know maybe kabam maybe they weren't profiting enough off of relics so maybe they had to find a different way to kind of you know tweak these things to make them more interesting uh you know i i don't really know exactly what the case is when reading this um so although it was a great statement at the time you know after 11 months goes by yeah, we kind of want some kind of an update, right? Because again, the first relics, they were obtainable in November of 2022. This post is put out August of, of 2023, um, talking about, you know, this, the, the trio that was added in July. So we're talking about less than a year of Kabam actually producing relics. And then now there's, there's more time that has passed um, where there's there's been uh, this this sort of dry spell of of no relics being added to the game. There's more time uh, of that uh, than actual time of Kabam adding the relics. So, what does it all mean at this point? And you know, again, it came up during the live stream that uh, Crashed was in the chat for, and he said something that I found kind of interesting. And I'm not going to show you exactly what he said because I've got something even better. I reached out to Crashed and was like, hey, this is, you know, this is kind of interesting. I think even though he's not, he's not saying when relics are going to come back to the game. So just letting you know, we, we don't have a date on that yet. Um, but I kind of wanted to see if he wanted to maybe expand upon a little bit uh, of what he, you know, like the, the one sentence little blurb that he had uh, about relics. And Crash delivered. He came through. So here's what Crash had to say. Relics are produced by the same champion and balance teams that make new champions, variants of champions like the Deathless and Manage Rework. So all of those things, all by the same team. We discovered that making compelling and interesting relics like the Black Widow Relic and the Venom Relic requires a lot of design and balance work, more than we expected. There are very few people who have the knowledge and skills to do that work. And I highlighted that for a reason. I'm going to come back to it. And so we have to be really careful about how we distribute those resources. This year, we decided to put those resources into other projects like the Deathless Champions and another initiative players don't know about yet while we explore ways to make producing relics more sustainable for the team. They aren't gone forever, but we still haven't exactly figured out what we want to do with them. Okay, so yeah, I, I found this to be pretty interesting. Again, we don't know exactly when relics are coming back, but this is certainly more information than we had when looking at this original post. Because again, this post, I, I couldn't even tell if Kabam, you know, liked how relics were, you know, affecting the game uh, in the first place. It, a lot of it, you know, it felt like was they wanted to address the feedback and then figure out how to go forward from there. But then looking at this response, it feels like, you know, the community's come around to, to, to relics. So the relics feel pretty good, but just don't have a ton of resources uh, that can be put towards them. Um, but Crashed also did specifically mention uh, that 
you know, we discovered that making compelling and interesting relics like the Black Widow relic and the Venom relic requires a lot of design and, and balance work. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe not every relic is created equally, right? And some are more interesting than others. And I think that's always by uh, by design, right? There's always like the, the relics that you're really trying to hunt down, but then some of the other relics, they're not gonna be as strong, just, just like with champions, right? Um, still though, they have to meet sort of a minimum uh, interest level in order to, to get people to buy into them. And I don't just mean monetarily, but of course, you know, money is, is part of it too. But I just mean even, even just be excited about playing the game to get the relics themselves. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, not all of them are as interesting as they wanted to be. And again, you know, they have to pull from the champion design team that's already working on new champions, variants like the Deathless and reworks. So the highlighted part here, talking about very few people who have the knowledge and skills to do that work, that actually brings me back to when I applied to work for Kabam. So this is a few years ago at this point, made a video about it if you, if you didn't know. I never wanted to work for Kabam. Uh, I never had any intentions because, uh, you know, I like where I live and wasn't planning on, you know, trying to, trying to go up to Canada, although Canada is a lovely place, had a great time there during the Battle Realm Brawl, but still. Uh, and then, yeah, something happened in 2020 and uh, remote work became more of a thing. And uh, with that, I was like, okay, well, yeah. I mean, maybe I, maybe, maybe I, would you guys even want me to work there though? I don't have any game design experience, you know? And uh, what Kabam said is that, hey, we can get you up to speed with, you know, how to design things in this game. Uh, that's no problem. I mean, it still takes time, of course, right? But it takes a lot more time just to get some you know, someone who has experience designing other games to understand MCOC. Because MCOC, dude, this is a massive game. There's freaking 300 characters. Think about other fighting games, like the biggest franchises in the world, like, you know, Smash Brothers or Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Dude, MCOC has so many more characters than all these other games. And, uh, you know, just all the different mechanics that are intertwined with all these champions. Dude, it takes a lot of understanding. And even though no player, especially myself, I don't understand absolutely every single detail of this game, um, I still know how most things work. And if I don't know how something works, I know how to look it up pretty quickly. Uh, so Kabam, they were just looking for people from the community who knew the game well enough that if they just taught them how to, you know, uh, work behind the scenes of how to, how to make certain things or at least help test uh, certain things, then yeah, that would just be the fastest uh, way to get people up to speed to, to help out in the game. So of course it's possible that they you know can bring in other people and they have of course hired new people and they have hired uh, a few people from the community. And I think that's one of the best things they've done in recent years. Um, even though it's something again, that's a little bit more behind the scenes that we might not realize as players. Uh, yeah, it, it's just that dude, there's only so many people and so fast that these people can be brought up to speed. So um, they kind of have to kind of have to pace themselves. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of wonder how you guys feel about uh, relics versus the other stuff that that same game team is working on, because I would wager that most people probably, well, most people probably just want it all, right? <laughs> but if you had to choose, add a bunch more new relics or you know, continue uh, pumping out new champions, the other variants like the Deathless and reworking some of the old champs. If you have to pick and choose one or the other, people are probably going to say, no, rework, you know, some champions and stuff. Um, but I, yeah, I just found this to all be very interesting. Um, there's also a teaser in there about another initiative uh, that's, that's coming as well that we don't even know about um, that is not deathless that is not reworks i guess uh and yeah crashed as much of a straight shooter as crashed is who just likes to you know tell things like it is and and be you know very forthcoming with that info he still likes to 
Of course, likes to add a little teaser in there. I mean, even his profile picture almost feels like it's hinting at something, and I, I can't quite tell what, but that's got to be something MCOC related, right? It feels like it's a little bit similar to the art theme going on this month. I don't know, man. Maybe you guys could figure out and, and decode what that all is, but um, yeah, I just found this to be really interesting that, hey, you know, Relics added in November of 2022. They were stopped being produced in July of 2023, and now we're, we're a full year later, and um, you know, Relics, they, there's been more of a downtime of them not being made than them actually being made while being in the game. So, yeah, uh, I didn't want to press Crash for too much info because I thought it was nice enough for him to, you know, be in the live stream in the first place and then to expand upon originally what he said with this uh, nice blurb here. But uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I sit down and have a conversation with Crash uh, at a later date about just anything in the game. Let me know if you guys uh, would be interested in that. But for now, I think that'll do it for this video. Again, shout out to Crashed, and if you guys want to join the conversation, you know what to do, man. Throw a comment down below or join a live stream, and uh, we'll talk it out there. So, thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.